This is um, Caroline from V Technologies. Just want to give you a um, little overview on V Technologies um, before we start getting into the presentation today. Um, we're joined by Chris Cashin, Director of Sales over at Visible Supply Chain, as well as Cameron Lewis, um, Director of Partner Management. And um, I know that there's several um, different types of um, registrants today, maybe a combination of both Starship um, customers, current customers, maybe some of our ship gear customers looking to um, possibly think of Starship for a post office solution, um, and maybe some of you out there that aren't using either of our products today. So a little background about V Technologies. We've been developing integrated shipping solutions for over 30 years now. Our niche has always been connecting the warehouse to the front office, so that would be either via accounting systems, ERP systems, or e-commerce solutions and platforms. We've been partnering with the Visible Supply Chain team for um, several years now, and um, we utilize um, Visible Supply Chain to offer discounted postage rates through our Starship application. So today, um, we have the experts over at Visible um, on the webinar today to talk about post office and some of the things you might want to know um, as it relates to shipping and being able to take advantage of the post office to get the best possible rates on your outbound shipments. So with that, I'm going to pass it over to Chris, and he's going to go into the meat of the webinar. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for the, for the introduction, Caroline. As she mentioned, uh, we're the rate provider for VTech. Um, Visible is actually the second largest rate provider of USPS postage here in the US. Uh, so chances are you may have been using a Visible rate for some time or in the past and just didn't know it, uh, but we appreciate you guys joining today. So today we're gonna talk about priority mail and why your box size matters. Um, so there's multiple types of priority mail. Uh, they'll all include the same SLA of a two to three day shipment. Um, but they're going to build slightly differently. And some, some types of priority mail may benefit you more than others. Uh, that's one of the things we hope to kind of demystify and help explain to you guys today. So the first type of priority mail pricing would be the standard weight zone that I think most people are familiar with. Uh, this type of shipping is just based on the weight of the shipment and the zone you're shipping to. So it's gonna be based on your origin and your destination zips and just the overall weight of the shipment um, dim weight does not always affect pricing. There are some instances that we'll cover in a moment where the dim weight would affect the weight zone pricing. Um, and there is often an opportunity to reduce your costs if you're only utilizing the standard weight zone method today by just looking at some other priority mail methods. Um, we typically recommend uh, standard weight zone as the safest option when you're doing one to two pound shipments. Uh, but but when you get above a two pound shipment or you have larger sized items, well, that's when we're going to start looking at these other types of priority mail. Um, so the next one and the other one that you're you're probably already familiar with is the flat rate packaging. Um, this will be uh, various box or envelope sizes, either padded or, or normal envelopes that are provided by the post office at no cost to you. Um, they come with a flat rate price based on the, the packaging that you chose. And you can fit as much stuff in there as possible all the way up to 70 pounds. So if it fits, it ships. You've probably heard that tagline previously. And a lot of the time, it's going to be the most cost-effective way for you to ship a priority mail package. Um, I know over the last you know five to eight years, I've seen more and more customers uh, transition from using their own padded envelope to a flat rate envelope or a uh, flat rate box, just because it's, it's really tough to beat that service on, on any carrier. Uh, now, the third type of priority mail is one that you may or may not be familiar with, and this is called cubic pricing. Um, oftentimes, it is going to be cheaper than a standard priority mail ship, and it all depends on the product and the size of the box. Um, so the way that cubic is built is, is rather than just on the weight of the physical shipment and the destination you're shipping to, it's going to be built on the dimensional weight and the zone. Um, so this does have a hard 20 pound limit with the cubic product. So it's, it's great for smaller, heavier items. Um, and through the, the offering we have with VTech, 
um, you can qualify for an additional uh, incentive on your cubic shipping when you're doing over 100, and, uh, 100 priority mail pieces per week. Doesn't matter what type of priority mail you're doing, that could be flat rate uh, boxes, that could be standard weight zone shipments, or you could already be utilizing cubic. But once you hit that 100 shipments per week threshold, uh, VTech and Visible can offer you an additional discount on your cubic shipping. So uh, when you're looking at cubic pricing, uh, it, it can be a little bit difficult to calculate. So what we have here is how you could calculate uh, the dimensional weight of a cubic box. Uh, at a high level, it's going to be the length times the width times the height of that box. And then you're going to divide that by 1728. Uh, now, if, if you have somewhat odd-sized boxes or you have uh, a box that's maybe 10 and uh, 10 and 1 8 inches. Um, you're going to round up to the nearest quarter inch. So that would be 10 and 1 quarter inches. And these box sample sizes we have here, we have an 8 by 8 by 6. It's a fairly common box size. Um, you're also going to round up. So in this example, uh, 8 times 8 times 6 divided by 1728 equals 0.222, and then repeat. So we're actually going to round up, and that's going to be a 0.3 cubic foot, or a cube three shipment. In our sec second example, uh, this is going to be one of, one of the largest box size, or the largest box size you can use that qualifies for cubic. That is a 12 by 12 by 6 inch package. Now, when you divide that by 1728, that's going to be half a cubic foot exactly. Um, anything larger than this, even if it was a quarter inch on one side, uh, you would be beyond the dimensional limits and fall into a weight zone price. Now, uh, just to kind of help simplify that for you and, and help determine at a high level when a package could be a good fit for cubic shipping, we provided these uh, rule of thumb measurements. So no two sides longer than 12 inches. Uh, obviously, if that third side is longer than six inches, it will be too big. But as a high level rule, uh, if you have a, a 12 by 12 by 13, it's going to be too large. Um, additionally, no one side longer than 18 inches. Typically, by the time you have a 24-inch dimension on a box or a 20-inch dimension on the box, um, the other two dimensions are going to supersede or exceed the limitations of a cubic dimension. So we have some other maximum dimension examples of 14 by 10 by 6, 18 by 6 by 6, and a 16 by 10 by 4. So uh, this is a great opportunity where if you're already shipping with priority mail and you're using weight zone or even if you're using a flat rate box, but you have a lot of extra air in that box, uh, it, it might be a good opportunity to review your box sizes and, and that, that additional air may be costing you a lot more money than you think. It's not uncommon for us at Visible to go walk a warehouse and, and find a dollar or more in savings just by reducing the box size, not even changing the, the type of shipping you're using. Here's an example of, of kind of how to price out your options. Um, in this example, we are sending a 10 pound shipment to zone eight. We're, we're going from Utah to Florida or from Florida to Utah, uh, either way. So a standard weight zone shipment is going to cost $36.32. If uh, if that shipment fits in a medium flat rate box, that's going to immediately drop your cost down to $12.80, and it'll also provide you with a free box because the post office does give those away. Um, that immediately offers a savings of $23.52. Now, if that medium box had some additional air in it, um, th then maybe a cubic would be a better fit. Uh, in this example, we're looking at an 8x8x6 eight by eight by box, um, the example from the previous slide. And on a zone eight, that's going to be a $14.02 shipment. So in this case, a flat rate is actually a better fit. So there may also be cases where it does make sense to ship a little bit of air in your, in your package. Um, now, once, once you're doing a minimum of 100 shipments per week uh, on priority mail through the VTech platform, through Starship specifically, um, you can qualify for the cubic high volume. So this will be that additional discount. Uh, here, uh, using that same 8x8x6 eight by eight by box, we're able to find uh, an $11.39 rate, which is another $1.41 off of the medium flat rate box. Uh, so this gives you a total savings over a weight zone shipment of $24.93. Uh, so, you know, clearly in the shipping 
industry, it's all typically we're talking about pennies per shipment. And then you have to look at your volume and how much you could potentially save. Even if you're only doing a handful of these incorrectly uh, a week or a month, it could impact your total spend by thousands of dollars per year. Now, uh, when you're shipping a padded envelope, which is becoming more and more common today, maybe you're shipping clothing or, or more of a, a loose fit item, something that doesn't ship easily inside of a box, uh, the way you calculate is slightly different. It's a little bit easier. You just add the length to the width, and you're going to round down in this case. So you're going to round each, each dimension, the length and the width, down to the nearest quarter inch. Now, the maximum total cannot exceed 36 inches. So it, you could potentially ship a padded envelope that's 18 by 18 inches and qualify as a cube five shipment in a soft pack. So here we have the cubic price tiers, which is just the length plus the width. Uh, for cube one, it's anything zero inches up to 21 inches, and then a cube two is 21 to 27, so on and so forth. Uh, we can pass this along to you. This is becoming more and more common as people start to understand cubic and that you can use it with uh, non-standard boxes or soft packs and envelopes. Um, so again, we're using a soft pack here. Same example from Utah to Florida. And uh, this example is a zone eight 3.5 pound shipment. Uh, a flat rate nine inch by 12 inch envelope is just 695. Um, so again, this may be a, a great opportunity to uh, to transition from your own packaging to packaging from the post office where you don't have to pay for that uh, that empty package and you can also save on your shipping. So the flat rate is really tough to beat. The nine by 12 is six dollars and 95 cents. There's no accessorials, no additional fees associated with that and the package is free. If this were a cubic shipment, not the high volume cubic, uh, it would provide a rate of eleven ninety two, dollars which is actually going to be $5.69 savings over the standard weight zone, but still uh, several dollars more expensive than uh, the flat rate envelope. Now, when you get into the high volume cubic, you do see some additional savings over the cubic shipment, but it still is not going to compete with that flat rate envelope. So this is a great example of how those flat rate packages can still benefit you even if you're already using postal and you're already using a multi-carrier model. Uh, now, we do have some new changes to the post office offering in 2019. Uh, it's actually a two-phase rate change, which is slightly unusual for the post office, so we thought we'd cover that today. Um, the first phase became effective on January 27th of 2019, which is the standard day that postal does their, their general rate increase. Um, but we're going to dive in just real briefly that balloon pricing did go into effect on January 27th, and that was a uh, postage rate based on 20 pounds versus the actual weight. So if it's a less than 20 pound shipment, um, then it will be billed at 20 pounds if it exceeds uh, one cubic foot. So this is zones one through four, uh, less than 20 pounds. And if you're the length of the longest side, plus two times the width and two times the height equals 84 inches to 108 inches, then you're gonna fall under that balloon pricing uh, model. Uh, essentially, this is going to be impacting any shipments that are larger than one cubic foot uh, if that last uh, equation is a little bit too tough to understand. Now, there's also dim pricing that will be affecting, uh, again, larger uh, priority mail weight zone shipments. Uh, so this, this will be uh, uh, based off of whichever is greater, either the dim weight or the actual weight, um, very similar to how a UPS or FedEx shipment may be built. This only affects shipments zones five through nine today. Um, and again, only shipments larger than one cubic foot. So if you're shipping a box or a rectangular package, you're gonna follow that same equation of length times width times height divided by 1728. And then you're gonna add one more step uh, where you're gonna use a dim divisor of 194 uh, and then run that length times width times height divided by 194. Um, for non-rectangular, it's a slightly different equation, length times width times height times 0.785. If that's greater than 1728, then you divide the length times width times height divided by 194. Again, this can be a little bit confusing. Uh, most of this will be handled by your VTech software. Now, effective June 23rd of 2019, the balloon pricing we just talked about will be eliminated. So just to clarify, the balloon 
pricing is still in effect today, but in about seven weeks, it will go away. At that time, on that same date of June 23rd, the DIM pricing will apply to all zones, and the DIM divisor is also going to change from 194 to 166. So you follow the same equations, but the balloon pricing is no longer uh, pertinent, and now the DIM divisor has changed. Uh, so again, this, this may increase the need to, to kind of review the, the types of shipments or the types of packaging you're using today. And it doesn't hurt to uh, make sure that you, you can't slim those packages down a little bit more because uh, the DIM divisor increase, as well as uh, the opportunity to take advantage of Cubic for those smaller shipments, could, could both impact your shipping spend in either a positive or negative manner. Now, uh, just at a high level, you, you probably already know if Cubic is a good fit for you, but if you don't, we wanted to give you some examples of the types of products we, we typically see used with Cubic Priority Mail. So those would be like liquids. Uh, we worked with several olive oil companies, shampoo and, and uh, cleaning companies who provide liquid products to their customers. Um, a lot of the time they do need to get a custom box to shave off an inch here or there, but the savings can be several dollars per shipment. Um, powders is another popular uh, product for uh, for Cubic, whether that be workout supplements, baking supplies like flour or sugar, or, or even cosmetic products. Sometimes those can be fairly heavy if you're looking at mud clay masks or the mix to make those yourself. Um, and then anything else small and heavy, bars of soap, nuts and bolts, even bowling balls. Uh, VTech actually just held, had a customer that was able to just reduce their box size by one inch, and they were able to save several dollars per shipment uh, and ship bowling balls through Priority Mail, offering a better SLA than what they were previously using. Um, and then just a reminder, anything that fits in a large flat rate box, you may want to look at Cubic. So that'd be a 12 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter by six inch is the size of that flat rate, that large flat rate box. Now, one of the things that uh, Visible offers uh, as part of our relationship with VTech is we offer a free no-cost analysis of your current shipping profile. So whether you're, you're only using UPS or FedEx today or you're using some postal but you want to make sure you're using it correctly, uh, we've actually built a tool internally where we can take your billing data from UPS or FedEx, run it through the system, and in a matter of minutes show you exactly how much you could save, as well as some other key metrics on your shipping profile, whether that's your most common weight, most common package or zone, uh, or how many shipments you're doing in a particular area. Um, you can also realize your true cost per shipment. I know that those uh, national carrier billing files from FedEx and UPS oftentimes are going to have accessorials and they're difficult to understand. So we can show you on a per package basis how much each shipment is actually costing you, uh, where your accessorials are hitting, and how much your, your DIM divisors or your, your minimums actually helping you out. Uh, in this example on the right-hand side, this customer was able to save almost $400,000 a year, just over $400,000 a year, just by adding USPS to their, to their model. We didn't completely move away from the national carriers, but by moving to that multi-carrier model, there can be substantial savings. Uh, so if you're interested in that, just reach out to VTech and they will connect you with our team at Visible and we're happy to run that net no cost analysis for you. There's no obligation to use the service, uh, but we find it, it's helpful in understanding where Postal could fit into your mar into your shipping profile. So uh, with that, thank you for joining.